Hello friends, welcome to this YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve a couple of simple numerical problems on single phase induction motors. By solving these problems we shall learn how to determine efficiency and sharp torque of a single phase induction motor. Let us have a look at the equations we shall use today to solve the problems on single phase induction motors. Synchronous speed Ns equals to 120 F by P where F is the supply frequency and P is the number of poles of the machine. Slip due to forward field S equals to Ns minus Nr divided by Ns where Nr is the rotor speed in revolutions per minute. Slip due to backward field Sb equals to Ns plus Nr divided by Ns that is equal to 2 minus S. For single phase induction motors input power P in equals to Et into IL cos of phi where Et is the supply voltage, IL is the line current drawn from the supply and cos phi is the power factor. Total air gap power Pg equals to Pgf minus Pgb where Pgf is the air gap power delivered to the rotor due to forward field and PGB is the air gap power delivered to the rotor due to backward field. Total rotor copper loss P copper equals to S times PGF plus SB times PGB that is equal to S times PGF plus 2 minus S times PGB. Mechanical power developed PM equals to 1 minus S times PG. Shaft power or output power PO equals to PM minus PR where PR is the rotational losses. Shaft torque TSH equals to PO divided by omega R where omega R is the rotor speed in radian per second or TSH equals to PO divided by 2 pi NR by 60. Efficiency of the motor eta equals to PO divided by P in. A single phase induction motor draws a current of 0.5 ampere at 230 volt and 0.6 lagging power factor. If it runs at a speed of 100 radian per second and develops an output torque of 0.3 newton meter, we have to determine its output power and efficiency. Let us first write down the given data. Supply voltage Et equals to 230 volts. Input current IL equals to 0.5 ampere. Power factor cos phi equals to 0.6 lagging. Output torque TSH equals to 0.3 Newton meter. Speed of the motor omega R equals to 100 radian per second. Since output torque or shaft torque TSH equals to PO divided by omega R. Output power PO equals to omega R into TSH using values we get. 100 into 0 0.3 equals to 30 watts for single phase induction motor input power P in equals to Et into IL cos of phi using values we get 230 into 0 0.5 into 0 0.6 equals to 69 watts efficiency of the motor Eta equals to PO divided by P in using values we get 30 divided by 69 equals to 0.4348 per unit or 43.48 percent. 
the name plate of a single phase four pole induction motor gives the following data output 373 watts supply voltage 230 volts frequency 50 hertz input current 2.9 ampere power factor 0.71 lagging speed 1410 revolutions per minute we have to calculate the efficiency and the slip of the motor while delivering the rated output let us first write down the given data number of poles of the machine p equals to 4 supply voltage et equals to 230 volts supply frequency f equals to 50 hertz speed of the motor nr equals to 1410 revolutions per minute let us first calculate synchronous speed ns equals to 120 f by p using values we get 120 into 50 divided by 4 that gives us 1500 revolutions per minute full load slip SFL equals to NS minus NR divided by NS. Using values we get 1500 minus 1410 divided by 1500. That gives us 0 0.06 per unit or 6%. Given output power, PO equals to 373 watts. Input current IL equals to 2.9 ampere and power factor cos phi equals to 0.71 lagging. For single phase induction motor, input power P in equals to ET into IL cos of phi using values we get 230 into 2.9 into 0.71. That gives us 473.57 Watt. Efficiency of the motor, eta equals to PO divided by P in. Using values we get 373 divided by 473.57. That gives us 0 0.7876 per unit or 78.76%. A 4 pole 500 watt 230 volt 50 hertz capacitor start induction motor takes a full load current of 5.6 ampere at a power factor of 0 0.62 lagging while running at 1440 revolutions per minute. We have to determine its slip at full load, its efficiency and its full load torque. Let us first write down the given data. Number of poles of the machine P equals to 4. Supply voltage ET equals to 230 volts. Supply frequency F equals to 50 hertz. Speed of the motor NR equals to 1440 revolutions per minute. Let us now calculate synchronous speed. NS equals to 120 F by P. Using values we get 120 into 50 divided by 4. That gives us 1500 revolutions per minute. Full load slip. SFL equals to NS minus NR divided by NS. Using values we get. 1500 minus 1440 divided by 1500 that gives us 0 0.04 per unit or 4 percent. Given output power PO equals to 500 watts full load current IFL equals to 5.6 ampere power factor cos phi equals to 0 0.62 lagging. For single phase induction motor, input power 
P in equals to E T into I F L cos of five using values we get two thirty into five point six into zero point six two that gives us seven ninety eight point five six watt full load efficiency of the motor E T F L equals to P O divided by P in using values we get five hundred divided by Seven ninety eight point five six that gives us zero point six two six one per unit or sixty two point six one per cent full load torque TFL equals to PO divided by two pi nr by sixty using values we get five hundred divided by two pi into fourteen hundred forty by sixty. That gives us 3.3157 newton meter. A four volt 250 watt, 115 volt 60 hertz capacitor start single phase induction motor takes a full load current of 5.3 ampere while running at 1760 revolutions per minute. If the full load efficiency of the motor Is 64 percent. We have to calculate motor slip, power factor, and full load torque. Let us first write down the given data. Number of poles of the machine P equals to four. Supply voltage E T equals to 115 volts. Supply frequency F equals to 60 hertz. Speed of the motor, NR equals to 1760 revolutions per minute. Let us now determine synchrona speed. NS equals to 120 F by P. Using values we get 120 into 60 divided by 4. That gives us 1800 revolutions per minute. Full load slip. SFL equals to NS minus NR divided by NS. Using values we get 1800 minus 1760 divided by 1800. That gives us 0.0222 per unit or 2.22 percent. Given output power, PO equals to 250 watts. Full load efficiency, E T F L equals to 64 percent, that is equal to 0.64. Input current, I L equals to 5.3 ampere. Let us now determine input power. P in equals to P O divided by E T F L. Using values we get 250 divided by 0.64. Equals to 390.625 watt. Since for a single phase induction motor, input power P in equals to E T into I L cos phi, we get power factor cos phi equals to P in divided by E T into I L. Using values, we get 390.625. Divided by 115 into 5.3, that gives us 0.641 lagging. Full load torque T F L equals to P O divided by 2 pi N R by 60. Using values we get 250 divided by 2 pi into 1760 by 60, that gives us 1.3564. Newton meter. The gross powers absorbed by the forward and backward field of a four pole, two thirty volt, fifty hertz single phase induction motor are one eighty watt and thirty watt respectively at a motor speed of fourteen hundred twenty five revolutions per minute. We have to determine the shaft torque. If the no load friction losses are 50 watts, let us first write down the given data. 
number of poles of the machine P equals to 4. Supply voltage ET equals to 230 volts. Supply frequency F equals to 50 hertz. Speed of the motor NR equals to 1425 revolutions per minute. Let us first determine synchronous speed. NS equals to 120F by P. Using values we get 120 into 50 divided by 4. That gives us 1500 revolutions per minute. Motor slip. S equals to NS minus NR divided by NS. Using values we get. 1500 minus 1425 divided by 1500 that gives us 0 0.05 per unit or 5 percent. Gross power absorbed by the forward field PGF equals to 180 watts. Gross power absorbed by the backward field PGB equals to 30 watts. And no load friction losses, PFR equals to 50 watts. Now we shall determine total gross power. PG equals to PGF minus PGB. Using values we get 180 minus 30 equals to 150 watts. Mechanical power developed. PM equals to 1 minus S times PG. Using values we get 1 minus 0 0.05 into 150 that gives us 142.5 watt. Output power PO equals to PM minus PFR. Using values we get 142.5 minus 50 equals to 92.5 watt. Let us now calculate shaft torque. TSH equals to PO divided by 2 pi NR by 60 using values we get 92.5 divided by 2 pi into 1425 by 60 that gives us 0 0.62 Newton meter. So today we have solved a couple of simple numerical problems on single phase induction motors. By solving these problems we have learned how to determine efficiency and shaft torque of a single phase induction motor. Hope this lecture has been useful for you. If you have any suggestion or question please drop it in the comment section below. If you have liked this video give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you.